Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft Together. If you have been watching this series where episodes come out rather infrequently, you will know that we have been working on a mega city in the Trungle Jungle. You can see it down below us. Roads are in place and some buildings are starting to be developed. Just two at the moment. If we have a look in on the map, you will see the fire department right here. That's actually next to where we are standing, which is this spot. And over here we've got the police department or station. And then of course we've got the stadium that I have been working on. And I'm about to live streams, so as you know. Soon in the video, I'll show you some more progress over there. But first of all, we're going to have a quick fly around the fire station. As you can see, it is far from finished, but things are coming together here. And we've got a super fancy and modern build design right here. Really loving this build, and especially the fire trucks on the inside. There has been a lot of detail put into this, as you can see. Banners, levers, item frames for lights. It is looking absolutely gorgeous, but it is far from finished, so I don't want to spoil too much of this straight away. There are some interiors that have been taken care of as well, and it is a fantastic building. And just behind me, of course, we can see the police station, but a lot less has been done here. we just got the basic framework in place at the moment. And then over here we have the stadium, which I'm going to be working on, and I'm hoping to start building up the seats at the top, putting in a roof, all of that good stuff. But if you remember the end of the last episode, we ended up on a competition, and everyone over here has come in and built a little executive box. And there are some really cool ones. I actually know what my favorite one is, so I'll tell you now. And I don't know if we're going to give out a prize or anything like that. We'll have to see what happens. Maybe we can arrange something. But these are all of the different uh, boxes right here and many different styles that people have gone for as well, which is really cool. This one's got to be my favorite yet. Yeah, this one right here. I love the detail on this. Let's hop inside. There is just so much going on and it looks super duper cozy. And there's even like a, a place to get a drink and a snack at the back. And I don't think you'd actually be able to walk through this table to get out of the executive box, which is a little strange. <laughs> anyway, it's a fantastic project and uh, we're going to be continuing work on this. And just to clarify, because we've been recording in creative mode, flying around using spectator mode as well, that's what I do to record these videos and get about the server and look at stuff. But when it comes to actually playing, I do indeed go into survival mode and use all these uh, resources that are all gathered in survival mode as well. Just so, just so we're clear, the actual building that takes place on this server is uh, fully legit. So the stadium has been expanded. As you'll see over here, we have a wall on the side of the roof. And that is to cap off the end of that terrace. And then over here, as you can see, we have built the terrace all the way to the back. We have put a roof above it that comes out real far over the pitch and also has a wall at the side there. But this one, remember, extends around the corner. And so we have this crazy monstrosity going on here. Um, yeah, it's looking massive, it's looking huge. We had a little bit of a problem when building this. If I'd have done the math a little bit better, we could have moved this all forward or back by one block and it would have lined up perfectly um, with this side over here. But you'll notice that there are three stairs there and two on that side. So in the corner, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical, but we are trying to figure out uh, how exactly to make this whole corner work, how to bring the pattern at the back across the wall and maybe have some of the white quartz go in diagonal or maybe keep them coming together straight. I don't know what the best thing to do is, but the corners are where things get tricky. As you can see, we've got this little exit right here, which we've managed to squeeze in. And we also designed a few more of these to put on the, uh, on the top floor here. So this is like a unique design compared to all the other ones that we've done so far. Anyway, it's looking fantastic. And of course, I will stream again and keep you updated with what's going on. Another live stream has concluded and there has been some more progress on the stadium but we are over here because it is Christmas Eve and there is a trungle tree. Check this out. Beautiful Christmas tree, giant star on the top, lots of Christmas decorations. I see ocelot faces, villagers and wolves and oh, it's so very cool. <laughs> I absolutely love this though. This is wonderful. And uh, also this area has developed quite a lot. It looks like there's loads of presents for people. I'm going to come back and have a, a nosy in those chests in just a moment. Um, this area has developed a fair bit. I'm not entirely sure what my bearings are. Actually, now I know exactly where I am. So check it out. Over here, we've got a gas station and now the land around it has been shaped up really well. The roads are looking good. I'm liking the uh, 
the granite around the sides there and there's trees in place and other buildings have been linked up to it really well. Over here we've got more details on the inside of the petrol station in the city and a play area for the kids opposite which I think is just wonderful. So it's great to see that this area back over here is still progressing and developing. And now we're going to go fly in this direction and get our ways over to the stadium. There is also a roundabout. I wasn't aware of that. I just flew right into it and you can see some of the landscaping around here is linking up to this roundabout. That is extremely cool. So here is the stadium. I can say now that three sides of the pitch, the inside area, all of the seating is done. So from this all the way around to over there it is finished. We figured out what we're going to do for the roof in this corner which is slightly wonky as you can see. And, you know, it's not a work of art, but it works, at least, I think, and it looks okay. And the seating over here is kind of wonky as well, actually, in order for the seats to match up with the uh, spruce stairs for the peeps to walk down. So you've got that big section there, which we filled in with orange. And then, because we wanted to line up this left-hand side like the right-hand side over on that, it actually comes out away in order to line up with the roof. So it's got its own little quirks. But anyway, over on this side, absolutely mahoosive terrace that is going to be the whole thing we're going to actually add um, some of these little exit bits on the side over here as well and you can see we've made it a fair bit wider than the pitch so it's just going to be this massive uh, you know big old thing we might even put some executive boxes at the very top here as well but down at the bottom we got the dugouts and I let Terrabo do this and a few other peeps were helping out with some of the design decisions so we got uh, orange team over here with coach crazy Marf. And on this side, it is Coach Metamorphic Mike. So these are the dugouts for the uh, players to sit inside after they come out the tunnel, which is down here. And the reason we did it like this is so that we could have more seats directly behind uh, that little bit. And it's looking fantastic, isn't it? And there's obviously more development to be done. And that's probably what the next clip is going to be about. Another stream has finished. And with this stream, we have finished the interior of the stadium. Now some tweaks and changes might be made here and there but you'll see uh, a couple of interesting things in the opposite corners. First thing to mention is that one of the dugouts here was actually six wide when the other was seven so one of the first things we had to do was shimmy the entire stadium across by one block so we could then focus on building a roof and I decided to change up the design a little bit. It's very similar but as you can see uh, the space much closer together and occasionally they spaced that a little bit further as well. Now this design meant that the uh, stadium kind of overhung the edges so we went and we added in extra seats down the side here so it's gotten even bigger. Same thing on the opposite side as well and there was this snug little space where I decided we were going to put in a camera box. You can see there's a couple of cameramen operating the cameras up the top. There's this little commentators box here and a back area as well with some TVs. It's absolutely gorgeous what's going on over here. I didn't do this. Some of the other uh, members on the server got together and did that little project right there. And then we got a weird bit where the roofs kind of overlap and we're thinking about changing this potentially and maybe filling in this space with something. Uh, but on the opposite side, you can see there's now a little screen as well. This is going to be like a uh, replay television or something like that. And now we actually get to move on to the back side of the stadium. So in the next stream that I'm doing, we're going to be shoring up how it looks from all around, which is going to be another interesting aspect of this. We're going to even do like the undersides um, down here there'll be toilets there'll be places to buy food lounges lobbies and this side here is probably going to be the biggest of them all maybe the last that we do because it's the uh, main view of the stadium for people coming down the road right and so it's going to have like the uh, the name of the team on it and all sorts of cool stuff and I am I'm just super excited for what we're doing next It's going to be really really awesome I've got a question for you. Are you ready to see an epic amount of progress? Because once again, live streams happen, and this is by far the most productive live stream we've ever done together as a group. Uh, look at that. The backside of the building has come together rather quickly. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely enormous. This was the plan from day one to have a bit of the stadium that overhangs the road. I don't think it actually overhangs the road. Maybe it does by one block. <laughs> uh, but the way this looks is awesome. So as you can see, Trungle City Football Club sign out the front. These big entrances for people to walk into. Uh, it doesn't have turnstiles like a, a football ground does. I think this is the part where we're now getting 
a little bit more free and creative. It looks like people are putting in a roof. They're, they're going ham. I'm letting them do their thing around here, you know. Um, so they've been putting in these wonderful shops down the front here. We're going to have like a, a little thing here for player changing rooms leading up to the bit where they go out onto the pitch. That's going to be awesome. So down here we've got this like foyer area and we're hooking up all of the staircases together and as you can see some of the designs are coming together. When I next stream I might even have stuff to show you before I stream because uh, everyone's getting really invested in this project. So over here we have a design to go around the staircases which was done by, oh, I don't want to say the wrong person. Actually, yeah, there it is, Swordsman Joe. That was who was putting all of this together. Um, so now we can go all the way to the top by walking through the staircases. We can go to the middle, and there isn't actually a bottom here. It's just the middle and the top. Um, that's the way this stand right here works, and it's so cool. Uh, I'm not sure what else to show you, really. Just this will develop, I imagine. We're going to have some more shops and stuff squeezed in here. Jared's working on a lounge around the side here, so we're going to have like a sky lounge hidden where you can sit and look out the windows. There might be a couple more of those where the space opens up, like here in the middle, it looks like a good opportunity to have a sky lounge. And I think all we'll do now is grab our rockets, get back up into the sky and look at the last thing, which is just the back of the roof, which is a little bit unspectacular, but I didn't really want to go crazy over the back here of anything else, so I think that looks perfectly fine. And man, this is just such a, a monstrous project right here. Think about it. We've got to do this around the other sides of the build as well. But that's all we've done for now. And I cannot stop staring at this thing. And now I'm stuck in flight mode. Brilliant. <laughs> all right. So last time I hit the record button was quite a few days ago. And I suspected that when we come on to stream next, there would be some progress in this area made. And uh, check it out. You can buy... Oh, look at that. That's really clever. You can buy some jerseys and shorts and they're hanging up on the clotheslines there. So down in this area, you can see most of this is mostly done. We've got Moe's Tavern over here looking spectacular. And yeah, there's lots of little shops. You can see the roofs have been put in place and this has got a real nice feel to it. There's still some little areas like here where some gaps need to get filled up. Uh, but if we head down to the end, we will see that there is a restroom over here. In fact, there's a restroom at either end of the building. And going into here, you can see it's kind of kind of small for a football stadium. I love the mirror banner. Look at that. Fantastic. And then over here, you can make your way into that hallway, which is going to lead to the player changing rooms. Now, the way it's done is that there are two lounges. And then I believe, yeah, right here leads you up to the pitch. Look at that view. Fantastic. So in here, the lounge hasn't been done yet, uh, but then we have the team's changing room. This is for the away team. And then on the other side, we have the home team. You actually have the pitch directly above you at this point, although when we go into here, you can see the roof is a little bit lower. And I mean, that just looks incredible right there. Beautiful design work going on. Really loving it. <laughs> um, but that's all that's been done so far, and I'm about to stream, and what we'll be doing is working on the away section of the stadium, its backside and interiors. I've just remembered one other thing, though. The second floor here still needs to be done. Uh, we'll work on that in the stream as well. So once we go up the stairs that lead to the upper areas, um, you will see that there is basically the design we had before. And it's just been, you know, replicated from that side over to this side. And a lot of work needs to be done here as well. So we can expect to see some changes. Another live stream down. And as you can see, some crazy progress over here. The away entrance has been constructed. As you can see, there is a sign over there saying away. We're in spectator mode for this one. I just felt like flying around and showing you the building from up here. It's a little bit flat on the back. We need to work on adding some shape. And the roof I decided I want to change. I want to keep this slope going up to the back here. And yeah, it's not finished. Still a long ways to go. We've got a little security station over here, which I'm working inside. Spangleboo built this during the stream. Lots of surveillance equipment. What is this right here? Naughty people! Watch out for these peeps! <laughs> oh, that's just genius. And it's got some connections into other parts of the stadium through here. Uh, down here it connects to this hallway which has now got, oh wow, like some security gear or something in here. That's very nice. What does that say? Security changing room. Awesome, awesome. 
Uh, around the corner here it then goes to this under area where we could probably build some more stuff and it can come through out here to where the crowds go into the away end. So through here you can see that we've had uh, a shop built, this thing, did the, oh, who, who built it? I forgot. I'm terrible. That's who built it, Obsessive Hugger. And uh, this is really cool. Look at this kitchen design, man. It's got a proper ki kitchen feel with like your, your grill back here and it's kind of separated from the counters. Terrific stuff. We also had some toilets made for us as well. So inside here, really cool toilet design going on. And the last bit here hasn't really been built yet. We also set up some more executive boxes up the back here. Badger and I Live Cats put these ones in. So we've added a couple extra. I was looking around and thinking we've only got like those ones on that side, let's add some more over here. So at the back here, there are um, two executive boxes and they have a staircase leading downwards into this area and around down to the bottom. We also got loads of empty space here, so we'll probably have like a little office building somewhere in this space or whatever, it depends on who wants to get involved. And if you're playing on the server and you wanna get involved, um, you can use Discord to communicate with the staff, they'll probably communicate with me. And if you've got ideas for adding stuff to this, then yeah, we want to like fill up these interiors with more stuff. So anyway, in the next stream, we'll be finishing the top of this and then start moving around to the side and eventually working on this one. Another live stream has finished and around the stadium, there are actually quite a few little things that have been tidied up here and there in between streams. But at this point, we're just going to focus on the new things that we're doing. And then probably when it's all done, we'll do like a stadium tour video at some point. But Anyway, coming around to this side, you'll see that we've got another entrance leading up over to this spot where we're starting to build up somewhat of a foyer area, which is in this corner space behind the score screen. Going over to this little spot right here, you will see that there are now corridors on the inside over here that have been filled up and it's very clean and nicely done. It's not quite finished yet, but it'll get there. And then coming over to this side, we've had to uh, link up a load of different pathways together. So if we look at it from this side over here, we have a path coming up to this spot leading into the VIP uh, tunnel, which Badger has been working on decorating all of this, and it leads to each of the different VIP rooms. So that's what's going on in that space. Then around here, the staircase goes upwards and it links up with this floor, which is mostly done. We're going to build some shops and some toilets and things like that in there, and you can see it leads up to the seats. These are actually the highest ones. So this one is the highest point in the stadium and there is a window looking out of the back. When we come over here, you can see what it looks like. Looks pretty nice, right? I think that's uh, a really good little layout going on over there. Uh, down below, we haven't really done anything yet other than lay out where the paths are gonna go. So there's tons of space down here, and I think I might do something special and turn this into maybe like a mall and give everyone like a load of uh, space to do really big shops, which would look really cool. Um, so then they're gonna go up to this little spot where we're gonna have a kind of build up and there'll be terraforming and landscaping done out the front here so this is all raised up and there's like this walkway area that can lead down to these spots it's all looking real good but when we get to the corner here as someone has just done it's all going to change because then we have to do like a diagonal build and we probably won't go overboard or do anything fancy with this other than figure it out get something that brings us over to this side and when we do this last part over here we're probably going to go with a different design to what you saw um, at the other ends and uh, the height difference is going to be quite big when we come around to here as well because as you can see uh, we've gone up at the away end then we've gone up again over here we've sort of raised the baseline right because if this is the baseline of the land around here it's much higher than the pitch where on this side I think the pitch is level with the road or just above it so yeah there's some real height difference around the stadium that landscaping and terraforming will bring to life. So my friends, there has actually been a couple of streams and a lot of time since I last recorded a segment for this episode. We are getting near to the end of this project, but we have made some very big plans for the last part over on this side. We're going to have a museum full of famous players and things like that, artifacts for the football club. These players will, of course, just be the members of the Let's Play Minecraft Together server. But we've kind of established a shape over here. We're going to have a big hallway with lots of things to look at. And then two little sections on either side underneath some arches. And there's even a way to look into the museum from up above. So these stairways that you see up here, they're going to exit through the back area over there. And this uh, corner bit, which I've been trying to take care of. 
Now, since you last saw this place, I think the back area has well and truly improved. But first of all, let's just focus on that corner for a second. That's currently what we're working on. We're going to have like steps and whatnot at the bottom of that and it's going to lead out with a path over to this road over here. Now, you can see there is some gorgeous terraforming and landscape that's been do done over here. There have been oh, just this amazing area right here, like a foyer for all the fans to come and sit down, and the details are just incredible. You will see families enjoying a meal together. It is beautiful. Now, there are also a ton of amazing shops, and what I'm not going to do is go into every single one of them, but I want to quickly just breeze past a couple here because these are really incredible. I've had my breath taken away by how incredible the details are in these shops. So we've got some on the outside. This one, I've got to say, by the way, is probably one of my favorites, the official merch and memorabilia. It's really just got the... Uh, that kind of club vibe to it. It's looking great. You can buy yourself a jersey and a football in there. And then when we head down into this area, things get really magnificent. Um, this shop has something especially clever. Look at that. <laughs> That's the clever use of end rods and uh, armor stands for shirts right there. Now, over here, we've got some more amazing restaurants. We've got some amazing toilet facilities that have been built by various members of the community. And then we have this. We have a really nice looking food court area, but behind it, wow, I love everything about this. The textures, the details of all the different creatures, guardians enjoying a drink, and ah, oh, the, the detail here is stunning. And I could spend a lot of time mulling over all the little uh, details talking about them, but I do just kind of want to breeze through and get this project finished. So, I mean, if you're on the server yourself, you can always roam around and have a look. So now it's just about the other side and we've designated uh, a couple of places for small shops and small toilet facilities. But since we've built so many on this side, there's only going to be a couple in this area around the corner. And it's really going to be dedicated um, to this new concept of having like a museum for the club built out the back. And then there might even be like a car park and a loading bay and just tons of opportunities for details. There's also been this like underground gangway that's been built. and We're going to use that a little bit over here. And oh, it's just such an incredible project that has turned out to be so much better than I ever thought it could be, you know. We are now calling this project finished, but looking straight ahead here, you can see there are some things to be done. There's a little bit of terraforming and that kind of stuff left, and there'll be a path here extending all the way over to that road. But then this structure is basically finished, and around here, you can see that the Hall of Fame has actually been constructed and there's loads of details in and behind the walls and all over the place and oh, we just finished another live stream where we tidied up these little buildings right here you can kind of see uh, we've thrown down some carpet on top and just tidied up uh, a lot of the edges so coming down here into the Hall of Fame you can see we've got some amazing paintings on the walls and then various members of the community are in here Kitty Meow Meow is the most break-ins I don't know what break-ins are. It's not really a football term. It's probably an American sports term. Uh, successful headers. 2,006 of them. Someone's got brain damage. Goodness me. Uh, Hubble. Most time fallen over in one game. Amazing. Yeah, so there's obviously so much to see and explore here. I think this is emulating a trophy, perhaps. Placeholder for championship trophy. Oh, it's a placeholder. It's actually a really good placeholder, that banner right there. And uh, as you can see, some bits maybe are not quite finished. I'm not sure if these walls are going to get tidied up. But I've spent so much time on this project and it's pretty much all the way done here. And, you know, I want to move on to something new. So there's occasionally little things like this where there'll be the odds hole and whatnot. But uh, I might come back here in the future and roam around and just find some of the loose ends. So one of the things we did as well was just sort out this entrance area right here. So there's a way to get up and down and another way to get into the stadium from this side. I believe if you were to follow these stairs up here, and then maybe again, there are, yes, yeah, some beautiful shops and decorations right here. Let's go into uh, this. Oh my goodness me, what is, what is that about? Oh, it's like a hidden secret security room. Staff only. <laughs> oh, that's so really, really good. That's like a closet, isn't it? And I think it's actually got item frames on the ground for the gray texture. Uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Loving this project. So cool. And then there's uh, a first aid room right here. Beautiful decorations. I don't know how the peeps do this stuff. Looks like it leads into 
another little area. That's so cool. It's so well done. And then I think there's one more thing to the left of it, which is probably toilets. No, restricted media employees only. Yeah, this links through to the other areas um, where the security cameras and stuff are. Let's get up in the sky. I feel like we need to, um, you know, just have a, a quick overview of this project because it's been going on for months and it's absolutely incredible. Look at the size of this. A fully formed stadium. Speaking of which, uh, the roof there needs some finishing. Okay, so maybe it's not quite finished, but it's the last time I'm going to go on about it because people have seen this project for a long time now. And uh, it's really about exploring it. There's just so many details on the side here. I couldn't really spend all day showing you it. This was a challenge to Winnie right here, by the way, to try and build a shop that's in an awkward space, just filling this up, and uh, she's been able to do it. And apparently I work in the shop and I serve burgers and and steaks and other things as well, hot dogs. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. I have really enjoyed this project. It's been amazing. So I believe that Winnie is still working on this area because as you can see, there's been some landscaping going on over here and there is a car park being constructed over on this side, which is actually always part of the plan. There's even a sign here saying parking garage four. So it's one of four, wow. <laughs> Which is like an extension to the stadium because, of course, you know, places to park nearby. Um, this is where we're going to wrap up the episode, peeps. I don't know what the next one is going to be about. I have no idea because uh, we're going to start a whole new project, right? So I have no idea when that will be released either. But if you enjoyed this one, then leave a like. As always, thank you for your support. And hopefully I'll see you soon with another episode of Let's Play Minecraft together. But if you want to catch it, the real place is over on Twitch. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.